Hey, Isaiah, as a, as a veteran of this college game, what, what, what do you tell guys, you know, to, to get back at it after a tough one like this? You know, just keep your head up. You know, it's a lot of football left to be played. You know, obviously things didn't go our way, but, um, you know, um, we got to go out there, correct what needs to be corrected, and understand that, you know, there's a lot, you know, there's a lot of football left to be played. So, you know, let's just, you know, you know, go back, you know, watch the film, see what we did, see what we need to do, and you know, try to go one and zero next week. You obviously had a, a good night. The the one that where they call it an interception. What what do you see on it? You, did you think you had it, or what was your thought right away? Just got to finish the catch. Um, you know, Dylan did a good job of putting the ball out there. You know, I got to do my part of just you know finishing it, finishing the catch. You know, those are you know plays that that need to be made and it's on me to go out there and just you know finish that on the same side though you had that uh great catch with the toe drag right mm -hmm. how was that for you um it, it was great you know um you know we kind of went into a little scramble and i seen dylan rolling out and um my job is to you know get open so that he can you know place the ball where it needs to be placed and you know made a made a play so it was very exciting You've been on some, some good teams, some teams that have won a lot of football games. Um, what's your advice for maybe some of your teammates who, who haven't experienced the level of winning you have in some other places? You know, my advice is just to, um, you know, keep our heads up. You know, there's, you know, yes, we took the loss, but, you know, there's a lot of football left to be played. We're a really good football team. You know, um, obviously it's a lot of self-inflicted wounds uh, created out there, but, you know, those are things that can be corrected, you know. So my advice is to, you know, just to, just to um, stay strong. You know, there's no, there's no reason to to, to lose folk, to lose faith or lose any type of confidence because you know we put in way too much work for for that to happen. So I believe in these guys, and I'm excited for what we got coming up. Tillon said that uh, after losses, when you really learn what your team is made of, what are you hoping to see what this team is made of in the? You know, pretty weak breath. You know, I'm hoping to. Uh, I, I know for a fact that you know we're gonna go out there and play our best ball. You know, um, you know, uh, I, like I said, I've seen the work that we've put in as a team, and I know I know that we can overcome adversity, and we could, um, you know, do what it takes to to go out there and and be successful. So you know, tough loss, but I believe in the guys that you know that we're gonna forget, have short term memory, and go out there and. Try to go one and know each week. Yeah, Isaiah Dillon also said that just felt like another football game. First Big Ten game for him in prime time. What have you seen from him in terms of his level of composure and how he performed tonight? Um, from the very first time, you know, I've caught a pass from him. You know, I, I I don't think I've ever seen him nervous or anything like that. It's just in him. You know, he's a natural competitor. Um, really fortunate to be um, to have you know him as a quarterback and. You know, for for him being the freshman, he's just he's he's really really mature, and um, our job is to uh, make it as comfortable for him as possible. You know, be on the same page and build the chemistry, and you know, try to win games. Anything else, right there? You and Jamal combining for 16 targets. The way you guys can get involved, how can that you know help you guys gain more confidence as a receiving core with Purdue coming up next week? Uh, just understanding that you know. Um, you know, Jamal, he's a, first off, he's a special player. You know, um, I learned a lot from him, you know, from, from day one, meeting him uh, and watching him in practice. You know, I try to learn uh, a lot from, from his style of play. And, you know, not even just him and him and I, all the, all the receivers combined, I feel like, you know, we're a really special group. And um, uh, to, and you got to understand that uh, moving forward, you know, we're going to have to do what it takes to – to take this offense to, to another level. So I really love those guys and yeah. Last one for you to follow up. It was a very physical Illinois secondary. What did you make of, of the Illini secondary? Even though you had two touchdowns, still found a way to show some physicality on their end. I mean, yeah, they were they were a physical team. You know, we knew that coming into the week that it was gonna be a battle. Um, and um, you know, um, they they did a great job of doing what they had to do, you know, and um, we just got to do a better job of, you know, just eliminating the self-inflicted wounds and, you know, learn from our mistakes. But, um, yeah, coming into the week, we, we knew it was going to be a dogfight. And, 
unfortunate we didn't come out on top, but um, you know, we'll learn what we need to learn and go one and next week. All right, thank you, Isaiah. Thank you. Thanks, Isaiah.